Hello YouTube! This is a continuation of the Mead program, if you will. In this case, it involves my experiment with a Piment. The Piment has... it was with a Chardonnay. From the winery <coughs> Chateau Les Paws. There you are. The uh, key thing that I like about Chateau Les Paws is that they take some of what their profits are and they give to a no-kill shelter. And since I have several four-footed furry friends, I feel it kind of helps them out in one mixed way. You might be able to hear one now meowing. But anyways, so I took the Chardonnay, did a 50-50 blend with a mead. The mead was uh, brewed with an American Pale Ale yeast, which gave the mead a light but fruity highlights through it all. I figured this would be a good combination with the Chardonnay. Now, sampled it with uh, several other individuals, friends of mine, and the conclusion, roughly, is that it starts off with a Chardonnay flavor. It strikes pretty strong on the palate. It literally goes as a Chardonnay and then drops hard into the taste of the mead. The mead acts as very much like a base, if you will. There is very little transition between the two. So the first sip is Chardonnay, then mead. Uh, some said that they felt that the mead was too strong. Some felt that the Chardonnay was too strong. Either way, it was not a good blend together. I have found uh, a recipe book in which suggests several different wines that blend in well with mead. I almost suggest it was a Chardonnay. And like I said, it's it's a hard transition between the two flavors. They do not mend well together. I don't think it's due to the brand Chateau de Paz, but I have a feeling it is just because you've got such a strong the honey base with the fruitiness in it, uh, conflicting with the sharp tanginess. Um, who knows how they how they use their tannins in this particular winery, but I'm willing to bet there's a high tannin uh, content in their uh, in their brewing when they when they make this particular wine. So uh, the end result was not overly pleasant. When added ice or water to it, it did cut back, kind of dulled the sharpness of the two flavors, but it didn't help uh, mellow the two out together. So, you know, give it a try, see what you think, but I don't believe this is a very good combination. Now, it could have been also the fact that I should have, I could have used a 71B or a Muttons or some other kind of yeast to brew the mead, but I don't think that would really change too much. You can still get a sharp Chardonnay with a hard mead ending on the palate. Uh, try the experiment yourself, see what you think. This is the results I acquired. And until the next, uh, the next mead experiment results come around, keep on drinking.